Hey YouTube, Mark here with another fragrance review. This time let's tackle the house of Tommy Bahama. This is actually from their Set Sail line, which is basically to me, uh, makes me think of the tropics, tropical. Um, makes me really think of going on a cruise or something like that. Um, I just tackled Set Sail St. Bart's, the blue bottle right here. Um, today I'm going to be eyeing Set Sail South Seas. So we're going to see if it continues on that tropical theme. So let's get to it. Let's take a look at the bottle and the box. Alright guys, let's tackle presentation, the bottle and the box. And of course we'll go box first. And as you can see, this is a fairly shiny looking box. Tommy Bahama, Set Sail South Seas, EDC 100 mils. Um, there's not much real detail on this one. Um, you're going to see your batch code at the bottom of the box and that's about it um, as you can see with the bottle it is your uh, stereotypical Tommy Bahama bottle um, basically uh, you got your palm tree here that's embossed so you can see the paint job on this is kinda cool um, the cap very cheap plastic as you can see here easily breakable um, and then you got your string that goes around it uh, nice touch I would say here's the sprayer which is alright you got Tommy Bahama on the other side and then you got your sticker with your uh, batch code right here. Um, I like to put the sprayer on this side of the bottle. These bottles are kind of cumbersome to spray. So I like to palm it like a basketball and then shoot it like this. I think it's the best way of doing it. Um, let's actually test out the sprayer here. Not bad. Um, just a, a small spray on this one. Um, not the best in the business, but eh, it could be worse. So. There it is, your presentation for Tommy Bahama Set Sail South Seas. All right, guys, let's look at bottle sizes. Tommy Bahama Set Sail South Seas comes in the one bottle size. You're looking at it right here, the 3.4 ounce. I really believe these EDCs from Tommy Bahama are made to spray a lot. So they only come in the 100 mils, uh, which you actually need. <laughs> Pricing, you're looking at $20 to $55 American to purchase this fragrance. I believe this one has been discontinued. It's not on the Tommy Bahama website. Um, it did hit bargain bins hard, and it is getting kind of harder to find. Um, so if you can find it for around $20 to $25 American, I say it's a good purchase. Anything higher than that, um, you really need to either test it out or really enjoy this fragrance to purchase it at full retail price, we'll say. This one hit the shelves back in 2008, has not won any awards on my channel, no top 10, not, no top 20s as of yet. Group, this is a citrus aromatic, I would say more of a citrus aquatic, it's not very aromatic I would say. Um, this thing does not project, it sticks to the skin, for me at least. Pet Fumier, couldn't find anybody as the Pet Fumier for this fragrance right here. Recommended age, I really feel that this uh, fragrance right here, South Seas, it's made for everybody. I really see somebody like an older gentleman going on a cruise wearing this stuff. I'm um, wearing his Hawaiian shirt. I really see that. But also on the flip side of thing, I could really see a teenager wearing this just because it could be at a bargain bin for 20 bucks. This could be just your summer staple that you're going to be wearing around all the time. So basically any age range can wear this fragrance. How many sprays and wear? I go quite a bit with this fragrance. I get two shots on the chest here. Two on each pulse point, uh, we'll go right behind the ears here, one here, one here, one in the back of the neck right here, hit your hairline a little bit, uh, you'll thank me later on that one, and one on each arm, so uh, yes, quite a bit of sprays on this one, trust me, um, you almost have to swim in this fragrance to really have some sort of impact with it, unfortunately. Um, any less than this, I'm telling you, it's going to be gone right away. Notes, let's tackle the notes, there's not much notes in here, there's only three. Uh, you got your top note of mandarin, you got your mid of violets, and then you got your base note of rum. So very interesting. You are going to feel each one of these notes. There's none of these notes that are really are just the impact of this fragrance. Um, if I had to name one that really sets it apart than anything, I would really say um, the violet in here. The violet is your major player in this fragrance. So let's get to it. I'm going to sniff this guy out and let you guys know what I smell from top to bottom. Alright guys, time to sniff out Set Sail South Seas. I'm going to let you guys know what this fragrance smells like from top to bottom. Um, let's do an initial spray on my hand here. I'll do two little sprays here. This fragrance is, uh, to be honest with you guys, when I smelt it, when I was testing it out, very uh, tropical feeling. So it does have that 
typical set sail DNA. Uh, in the top note, you're going to feel a lot of uh, citrus and you're going to feel a lot of actually some fruit in here. Yeah, so there is a strong mandarin note in here. That's what your nose is going to get attacked with. Um, it felt bitter. Sometimes when I was wearing it, it did feel a little bitter. But then at some points, it almost felt nice and juicy and uh, went, went along with the fruits. Um, there is a hint of violets in here peeking through, kind of giving you like a watery vibe. Um, and of course, with the rum backing it. So it almost felt like, again, tropical. Um, it, it's almost like a fruity citrus start. It really felt like there was a fruitiness with the rum and the mandarin coming together. Yeah, so I think the rum kind of gave you that like a little fruity note in there uh, with the rum. The booziness in this one at the start gives it a little bit of warmth, but not enough to say it's a warming fragrance. It definitely is a cooling fragrance with the mandarin and the violets. Um, very, very nicely done top note. Um, sometimes the rum was a little much in the top note. Um, you really felt it and it kind of took you aback as saying, I don't know if this one is for me. Um, a lot of people will tell me, I'm definitely going to see in the comments below this one, may hit your nose a little strong at the top note. Now in the mid, once this dies down on your skin, the violets take over. This is a violet show. Um, it gives it violets gives fragrances a watery like feeling and in this one it's no slouch it does give you that watery feeling so it almost turns into an aquatic the rum is backing it in here so you're still getting that nice boozy feel um you are still getting oh, a little bit of mandarin but you're also getting a lot of fruit in here it was blended fairly well for a Tommy Bahama fragrance in the mid, and this part was much more aquatic than citrusy. That start for this fragrance was more citrusy-like. Um, this mid is more aquatic-like with a little bit of everything, the rum and the mandarin and the fruits kind of in the background of this fragrance. It kind of reminded me of like a, a love and luck type of feeling, but of course with uh, more booze <laughs> grown up. In the base, in the base of this fragrance, this is where the rum note takes over. Uh, but it's not a thick brown rum note that uh, you'll feel like in your heavy hitters in the winter like you done by Yu Bang. That is an absolutely gorgeous rum note in there. Um, so it's not a heavy boozy like it. The boozy is not really in your face, it's very light. And it goes with the, uh, the overall feeling of this fragrance. Very light, um, not warming but cooling like a breeze almost. Um, there's a nice hint of woods in here, just a bit um, with that watery violet still kicking in the base. So very, very nicely done, very well blended. I really felt like this was well put together. Um, let's get to the overview and I'm going to let you guys know what Tommy Bahama Set Sail South Seas, what I really feel about this fragrance. Let's get to it. Alright guys, welcome to the overview of Set Sail South Seas. This fragrance in a nutshell is very light, it's fresh, it's airy, it's got some florals. It's a good daily scent, but also a good nighttime scent for the summer. I really felt like this was a good workhorse for me in the summer. It's good, not great. Um, it's pretty safe scent to use overall as a casual scent in the summer. It's light, casual. It's your typical EDC. Um, it doesn't have any balls. <laughs> it doesn't jump off your skin. Um, it lasted quite a bit for Tommy Bahama, a little more than the St. Bart's here. So it lasted a little more than that guy. It's well done and you probably not regret purchasing it for the bargain bin price of 20 bucks. But it's not anything that really stands out to me to make me jump and say, this is a great summer scent. It's going to make my top 20. Um, no. Um, to be honest, it's actually not the best from the Tommy Bahama line. Right now, I'm really liking uh, St. Bart's right here. Um, check out my review on that one. But I don't think it's the best from the Tommy Bahama house. This one played some tricks on me. Um, sometimes during this review, um, I tested this one out for well over a year different seasons, different uh, different times of day, and I really felt like some days I just wanted to scrub this one off my skin, and then some days I really enjoyed wearing it. Um, not too many fragrances do that for me. I know either I really absolutely love them or absolutely hate them. Um, there's really no middle ground. Sometimes I just like them. This one, 
it, it was that bad. It was either really bad that I had to scrub it off or really good that I enjoyed it. Um, so it does have that love-hate appeal to it. And after a year of testing, I usually know which side of the coin I'm on. With this one, I'm still in doubt. I'm not sure if I like it or I hate it. I probably won't wear it much after this fragrance review, to be honest with you guys. Um, I was kind of disappointed in this one. Even though these are cheap and give you a great bang for your buck as far as the Set Sail Tommy Bahama line, I really felt like Set Sail St. Bart's, the blue one right here, is still the gem from that Set Sail line. Um, this one comes in, in second from the Set Sail line. Um, I really just felt a little disappointed from what I was getting. Um, but this one, like I said in my intro of this video, is getting a little harder to find. Uh, you know, bargain bins, people are snatching it up. Um, it's not on the Tommy Bahama website, it's not for sale there. Um, this one, I feel, was discontinued. There's no official word on if it's discontinued or not, but it is getting harder to find. So if you see it and it feels like something that you love, snatch it up. Especially if you have a bottle now and you love it, get a backup bottle, trust me. Why would you hate this fragrance? Well, there's a lot of reasons why. Some people said it it would give them a detergent-like feel. Um, I, I really disagree with that, but I, I give it, you know, just to let you guys know what some people felt about it. Um, detergent, usually lavender gives me that feel. I'm, I'm guessing they were getting that from the violet. Um, I really don't get that detergent feel, but that would be a reason why you would hate it. Also, some people said it was feminine. Again, I really don't get a feminine feel. I don't really feel like, eh, it could be unisex, but not overly feminine. Again, I feel like some people are misjudging this violet note, just thinking that it's a floral and they say it's feminine. It's, I don't think it is. Synthetic, yes, I agree with that. Um, it can be synthetic, it can attack your nose on the top note, people won't like that. Um, synthetic, yes. Uh, no projection. Yes, there's another reason why you would hate this fragrance. This thing is hard to get noticed in. Um, really, you have to spray quite a lot. The sprayers are pretty bad on these. They don't spritz out too many juice, so you almost have to double up what you usually do um, just to get a real impact or get enough juice on your skin um, to, to get it to uh, project just a little bit. Uh, but overall, projection very poor, sad even. Um, one word to describe this fragrance, I would have to say summer. It does give me that tropical-like feel. Bottles, um, really nothing gave me this tropical rum, uh, violet leaf with some fruitiness and some mandarin. Really nothing in, on the market today does it. So this is quite unique as far as a summer scent. Um, if you're looking for a really nice rum scent, um, I really like warming rum, like really thick. Uh, winter and uh, fall fragrances. I would highly recommend Lubin Idol. Uh, I'll put it up on the scrolling here that you can uh, research it. There's an EDT and then there is an EDP of it. Both are great. Uh, when I close my eyes, this fragrance reminds me of what? Um, pier side. It just really reminds me. I mean, it doesn't really remind me of being beach side, but pier side. It, it really kind of reminds me of being like on a cruise or something like that. Um, best time to wear this fragrance in the summer, of course. On a boat, if you're on a boat or on a cruise line, um, definitely I really feel like this one invokes that type of feeling. Couple and factor, this one again with these wheat fragrances, it's hard to get compliments of course. Um, so you gotta go fishing, I went fishing, I asked people that I know, family members, what do they think of this fragrance? Some couldn't even smell me, which was sad. Um, some just said, ah, oh, it's okay, it smells nice. Um, so the compliment factor, Poorish, I would say. It wasn't great, wasn't good, um, I wasn't getting anybody jumping off the cliff trying to get a bottle of this stuff, no. Um, so fairly poor as far as compliment factor, so let's just say this ain't no panty dropper, folks. My two cents on this one. Overall, this is not the best from the Tommy Bahama line. We got two more here. I really like this blue one right here, much better than this guy, to be honest with you. Um, that's my two cents. I don't think it's the best from the line. And the Tommy Bahama line is not the best fragrance brand, to be honest with you. Um, but they do make some, you know, hidden gems, uh, bargain bin type of fragrances. So it's not the best from the line. It's a good bang for your buck. Um, if you're just going to have a casual scent for the summer, I think this one's great for you. And this goes from Buy, Try, or Pass. This is a absolute try, especially for that $20 bargain bin price. Um, you can't go wrong by trying it out. 
Um, it's more of a try and pass more than anything. I really don't, I really didn't get excited with this one. Um, it's a middle of the road Tommy Bahama fragrance that just didn't get me excited at all. So try it out if you can find it for a bargain bin. If you can find it at a retailer for like 50 bucks, forget about it. It's a definite pass. You can find much better for 50 to $60 American. So guys, let's get to the rating system and see how I rate this fragrance right here. See you guys. All right, guys, let's rate Tommy Bahama Set Sail South Seas Projection. This one sticks to the skin. Very poor. Three bottles out of 10. Longevity. I'm going to give this one six bottles out of 10. Pretty good for Tommy Bahama, but still runs a little short. Looking at three to six hours any given time. Versatility, actually pretty good. I'm going to give this one seven bottles out of ten. I can see this being more than just a summer scent. Overall smell, seven out of ten did pretty good. Not great, but good. Season, summer and spring. It's not the best from the Tommy Bahama line. This line is pretty safe as a buy for Bargain Bin Fragrance. If you can find it for $19.99, jump on it. It plays your typical EDC game. Very weak on the skin. Overall, I'm going to give this one a six bottles out of 10. Uh, look out for it if it is in a box.